Pony. It's a natural phenomenon because of which Orissa, Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal are facing the extreme wrath of Mother Nature. It's a cyclone originating in the Bay of Bengal with a sustained wind speed of around 175 to 185 kilometers per hour. It had hit the Orissa coast on Friday. While the country cannot do anything against the natural phenomena, the government can at least ensure that the state is well prepared for them. And this is exactly what has happened this time around. India is well prepared for the cyclone and we have the central and the state government to thank for that along with the Indian Meteorological Department. Due to the unprecedented measures, better warning system and better center state coordination, the affected areas have witnessed a mass evacuation of over 11.5 lakh people along with the highest ever deployment of the NDRF. Such immense progress is due to IMD's new regional hurricane model, which is part of India's zero casualty focus on cyclones. The safety measures implemented by the IMD along with the central and state governments have proven successful as the government officially stated the death toll of a mere six people. Some of the measures by the local authorities include Piling of foodstuff for emergency use along with installing an early warning system through voice messaging and blowing of sirens. Coastal measures implemented in the wake of Fawny included repeated warnings which reduced casualties at sea and provided infrastructure by way of storm bunkers. In light of this disaster, the government and private hospitals have geared up with an increase in the staff on duty along with an increase in the medicines and bed. The authorities have also set up cyclone and food shelters for the victims. With provisions well in place, let us come to the security arrangements. The highest ever number of National Disaster Response Force was deployed consisting of 65 teams. It is pertinent to note that one team consists of 45 personnel. Apart from this, army columnists were in readiness in the disaster areas. Six ships were deployed for relief operations by the Indian Navy while diving teams were on alert. The Indian Air Force also kept eight transport aircrafts on standby. In Orissa, two choppers were on standby for immediate rescue and airdropping of relief material. Moreover, additional teams for road clearance, law and order and drive fruit have been rushed. These measures and strategies sound very positive, especially when viewed in light of the situation prevailing in India in 2013 during the Uttarakhand floods. The state was hit by heavy rainfall and flash floods all over with an estimated casualty of 6,000 people along with damage statistic of around 4,200 villages. The main reason attributed to this was the utter chaos in the administration, even as the army had been trying to rescue people. It took Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde to come down to Uttarakhand to specially admit that there was no coordination among the government agencies which was hampering the rescue operations. This was what was rectified by the current government. It sought to increase mutual cooperation between the various sectors of the government, the emphasis being solely on aiding the people. However, it is important to note that significant achievement has not been a one-off incident, but has been the result of years of hard work by the NDA government. The results were visible right in 2014 when the UN congratulated India on its focus on zero casualty during natural disasters after observing such minimum damage during the cyclone Udud. Praising the Meteorological Department's proactiveness, Madhavan Rajivan, Ministry of Earth Sciences Secretary stated, It's a very significant achievement for IMD. The department has successfully used its regional hurricane model in addition to other existing models. He continued further by stating that the new regional model 
having ocean components in addition to atmospheric ones in other models could track the cyclone better with visible results. Nevertheless, the agency isn't satisfied and wants to continuously improve upon the forecast, striving for perfection. The immense proactiveness of the authorities is commendable. What is most important is the coordination between the various government authorities and this is exactly what is being viewed here. The meteorological department along with the government has tried hard to curve the casualty rate and is tackling the national disaster to ensure smooth functioning of the evacuation plan along with providing support to the victims.